this is you, and it also used to be me. But this is my horse now. Hi my otters, it's the Ocean Otter. Welcome back, or welcome if you are new. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to train your horse to be faster, jump higher, turn better. I have trained 15 horses to the max level, and I did count. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it, all my tips for your training, how you level up your horse, and just some little side notes towards the end. So let's get into the video. Okay, so before I show you how to train your horse, I'm going to explain all of this stuff down here because this is a little bit confusing. So basically, strength means how high your horse can jump. Swiftness is how fast it can go. Discipline is kind of hard to explain, but it's basically how quickly your horse can start running and stop running. Um, and agility is obviously turning. All the numbers represent what level horse is on for each skill. So I've trained this horse a little bit. The little blue bar under here is how many XP's you have. I'll explain this more later, but for example, 23 out of 30. I need 8 more XP's to level up and get to level 7, basically. Which I'll show you how that works later. But, but now I'll show you how you actually level up your horse. So firstly, I'll show you what each pin does. This pin is for leveling up agility or your turning this pin over here with the barrels is leveling up swiftness or how fast your horse is this pin is for strength or jumping and then these round pins over here are for discipline so to earn xp to level up your horse is you walk into any area and some stars will show up you want to walk into the star with your horse and you can see as i keep doing this I'll earn XP's to level up. And basically, you just keep walking around until you earn enough piece to get to the next level. And as you go on, your horse will get better at the skill. So I have a few tips on how to do each skill. So on swiftness, I like to canter, which is the third stage of basically running. I like to canter from barrel to barrel, and once I get to a star, I like to trot so that you have more control while you're going around. And again, you'll see my XP's go. I canter, and I trot. And you can do it in whatever way you want, that's just, I found that that's the easiest way to do it. And then for agility, it's pretty much the same thing, I like to either canter or gallop from each star. And then when I'm going around the poles, I like to trot. And then for jumps, it's a little bit different. I like to canter through the whole thing. I just find it's the easiest speed because galloping gets a little bit hard to control. Um, see, it's like hard to turn enough to get over it. And then um, trotting, it's kind of too slow to actually get over the poles. It takes some practice to actually be able to jump to figure out the timing and when to jump over the poles. And then as you practice the skill, you kind of find your own little pathway you like to use. Like I just like to go around in a circle. Again, you can do whatever you want. And then for discipline, I like to actually put my screen up and zoom out. I like to trot for this one because it's not too slow. And then this is kind of an extra thing, but the way I like to level up my skills, the fastest way I find to do it is I have a little routine. I do like, I start in agility, I level up three levels, and I go to discipline, level up three levels, then swiftness, three levels, and then strength, I level up three levels. I just keep doing that over and over again. And I find that's the fastest way to level up, in my opinion. And finally, I just have some like miscellaneous things and tips I want to give you all. As I was leveling up and training, you might have noticed some blue stars. So there are some blue stars, and basically, these just give you double XP. And you might say I'm getting 8 XP and 2 XP, which is different from you. And that brings me to my next point. There is a game pass called Professional Trainer, where you earn 2 times XP. I know 
most of y'all probably don't want this game pass or can't get it, but it is really helpful in leveling up your horse. As you know, 15 horses, I train a lot, and this just makes it easier for me. So I might be wrong, but if you don't have the game pass, this one will give you one, the yellow stars will give you one XP, and the blue stars will give you two, I believe. And then as you might see, your horse's energy will get low. So you might be training and your horse will just randomly start walking and you won't be able to speed up. And that's because they're tired. The energy usually gets red and gets about to here. And it's kind of annoying, but what you have to do is you have to bring it back to your little stall area. And you have to press sleep and usually it gets the energy up a lot. It's just kind of annoying to stop your training and go over here. But while you're waiting for it to go up, I just like to water my plants or my crops and it doesn't take too long. Training does take a while. It does take a while to get a fast horse, to get a max level horse. But if you do the whistle quest, You will unlock this Rachel, who's a trainer. You can talk to her and you can add a horse, for example, this horse, and she'll train it for you. You can even you can go from 15 minutes to four hours of training, but it does cost money. It is really helpful if you just don't want to train your horse for a little bit. She can just, like, you can just go AFK and she'll train your horse for you, which is really nice. You do have to do a quest, though. So training, it can get a little bit boring just going from star to star over and over and over again. Which is why I recommend, while you're training your horse and leveling it up, to listen to music, watch a show or movie, watch YouTube. Hint, hint. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. And I want to make sure I explained everything in a way that actually, like, makes sense. So if you have any questions, please comment them. Good luck training. I challenge you to get to level 10 on each skill. That's it for today. So bye, my authors.